Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Barradale Rest Area. Uh, we camped here overnight with probably a good 50 others, I guess. Um, there was a heck of a lot in. And I made the classic mistake yesterday of not bothering to come down to the river here for a look. And uh, Joanne's gone for a walk this morning, come back and said, you need to go down to the river. So here I am. And there's pretty obvious reasons why. There's shops like this to be had with beautiful white trees. And if I pan over here, I see this guy here. Look at the light on that. In fact, I'm going to have to duck over there, probably just down to here, and take that shot first, because that's looking really nice. I think I should have got here a tad earlier. Anyway, I'll uh, we'll try a bracketed shot and see how we go. It's... Uh, And we'll come down, put some more darkness in there and see how we go. The light's still on that. Still, the light's still here, so it's still worth a try. Didn't have time to put the filters on, so um, that's just the way it goes. All right, so we'll go back to where we were just before. Right, so we're back here at this uh, little location. I like this composition because you've got these trees here and then it leads you through a little pathway to the trees behind as well. So what are we going to do here? It's looking a bit dark. But that's looking a lot better. So where am I going to focus? Well, I'm going to focus over here on those trees there and it's a fine line between focus and out of focus all right f11 45th of a second at iso 100 not clipping the highlights And if I flip my camera and put the shot up, that's what we have. And I'll show you that on the screen right now. Right, so if, uh, for someone like me who likes white trees, then this is a... Uh, what would you call target rich environment I guess to quote a particular movie anyway we're walking through the riverbed here as you can see it's quite uh, dry through lack of rain and lack of water it's hard going on this river, river sand you know, I'm going to wander over here I can see some big white trees over there, see what we can find. Then you can see people have driven up the river. There's a nice big white tree up there too. Anyway, see if we can get about half a dozen shots from this place. And then I'm going to wander back for breakfast. So it's amazing what you do when you've uh, been following people with different photography styles for a while. Um, this one's inspired by Adam Gibbs who uh, does photography all over the place, but primarily in uh, Canada, on Vancouver Island. And he often flies a drone through somewhere like that as part of his, uh, part of his photography genre. And he does some magnificent work. So if you haven't seen his stuff, look him up on YouTube, Adam Gibbs. He actually won Photographer of the Year, uh, Landscape Photographer of the Year, for 2019 and uh, you'll understand why when you see some of this stuff anyway um, what I like about this is the little frame there of the trees through to the other trees in the background so I'm a bit puffed out from that walk up the river so there's the there's the composition and I'm gonna focus there 
make sure that's nice and clean yep cheers not clipping or well, just clipping the highlights so we'll go with that anyway 40 fifths of a second f11 iso 100 and flip the camera and there's the shot and i'll put the process version up shortly This, this river is a bit bigger than I thought it was. Uh, I was coming up and down a little arm there, but it seems there's another one over there. Must be, I don't know, three or four hundred metres wide, which is pretty interesting. There's some more white trees over there, goodness me. Anyway, we'll keep walking up here, see what we, uh, see what we can find. I really need to stay probably near the edges. Here's a truck coming down the highway. Um, because that's where the groups of trees are, like this, and uh, I think that's where the photos are, so I might head back towards that side of the river. Alright, so I wonder if you can guess why I'm taking this shot. Um, I've just found, it's not the best in the background, but the tree in the foreground is quite nice. And the reason I want to take this is I think it's like a pair of arms. So this one comes out to greet you and then that one comes out to greet you. And it's sort of that spiral um, that they talk about in photography. So how am I going to take this? I'm going to wait for that truck to go past, I think. So there is a cattle grid uh, on the road up there and that's why all the traffic makes a heck of a noise when it comes over it. Anyway... Uh, what I'm going to do here is I can go landscape mode and I can get the whole picture, but I want to make it a bit bigger. So um, what I'm going to do is take um, four, probably three shots and that will just uh, get it all in and I can crop and do whatever I need to do from there. So um, that's looking a little bit light and that's looking a little bit dark. Well exposed to the right they reckon so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to focus there first so zoom in and I'll tell you one thing it's hard focusing while you're looking through the back of your phone and quite often what you need to do is bump up the view the exposure so you can actually see here we go and then bring it back down so exposing to the right and what I'm going to have to do is take a shot there The traffic's noisy, isn't it? There's one. Hold the exposure lock button. Take two. And take three. And the reason you hold the exposure lock button is so that you get the same exposure on all three shots. Otherwise, if you uh, don't, and you also have it on man, uh, on automatic focus. What it'll do is it will change the focus every time and it will change the exposure every time. So when you try and stitch it together, you end up with uh, kind of a weird shot. And often with bits of the sky, which is where it normally tells, some dark, some light, and it just doesn't look right. Anyway, I'll show you that shot right now. All right, so I've come up the uh, river a little bit and uh, the bridge, the road bridge is just over there. But uh, as I came across, I couldn't help but noticing uh, this view, this tree and this grass in the river. And as I'm 
looking at the camera, I'm also seeing this view down here as well. So that'll be another, another shot. Well, I'll go and investigate it anyway, see what we get down there. But this one uh, is looking particularly nice with the way the light is. Would have been better if I'd got up early and come down. But anyway, um, it is what it is. So we take the shots that present themselves when we're there. I just love the way that looks. Anyway, we'll see what we can do about putting something like that together. So there's a landscape um, orientation. And if I focus on the tree, make sure it's as sharp as I can get it. Uh, I'm on f11, so that'll put pretty much everything in, in uh, focus. And I can always crop it a little bit. Um, I'm kind of not liking that tree there the way it comes up in the camera, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll have a look at that in post and see what what see what we do with that, if anything. So we'll take that shot there, sixtieth of a second, f11, and I think we'll also flip it. And that might actually. We might take two shots there. We'll do the same thing and then we'll just stitch them together. And crop when we're uh, in post. Make sure we've got that nice and sharp. That's pretty much right where it was. Okay. So. Take that shot there. Yeah, that one there. 60th is the same, so the settings are the same. With the two second timer. And before we go anywhere, we'll put the exposure lock on. And we'll twist it. And we'll take that one. Join those two together. And we'll show you that shot very shortly. Well, you can see I didn't get very far. I was just on the other side of that tree there. And that's actually quite a nice little shot there, isn't it? The leaves framing the trunk. Um, I'm not sure if it tells much of a story, but we'll take it anyway. You can see the bridge in the background. Through the tree just there but what I came for was this <laughs> uh, my little avenue of trees avenue of white trees and the odd tuft of well spinifex so let's take this shot be a vertical composition as you can see I've got that set up and making sure that I've got all of the tree in and we'll focus just there sometimes it's hard to focus too far away all right there's the shot 45th of a second f11 Focusing down on the first tree on the left and half a stop overexposed, two second timer, and the job's done. We'll show you that one. Uh, the sun is uh, starting to get up quite reasonably high now and uh, quite high and uh, it's starting to get quite warm and so the best of the light is gone however I've walked into this little area here and you can see it's very shady and it's just like walking into a little microclimate because the temperature just you could feel that sudden cool 
come over you as you walk into it. So I'm going to try and get a shot of it. And the hard thing here is, what am I going to focus on? I mean, it tells a story. You can see all the all the rubbish along the bottom of the trees from when the river last um, flowed. But how do you how do you convey the story of it's a cool microclimate in a hot area? <laughs> um, anyway, we'll take a shot. I think what I'm going to do is keep the um, exposure down a little bit. Try and show the um, blue sky and sunshine at the back and the shade here in the front. Hopefully that will convey it in, in the photo, but I guess we'll, we'll soon find out, won't we? Well, there's the composition and I've, uh, I've focused down here. I don't know that it's working for me. If I bump the exposure up, it just looks too light to me. So if I bring it back, even to there, half a stop under, we'll try half a stop and, and actually, no, we'll just try there. And then we'll try half a stop under. I don't think one stop will be probably too much, I'm going to guess. Oh, what the heck. We'll take the shot anyway and see what happens. You never know, it might be the best one. But look at the light, that's just the different layers of light there on the, on the leaves of the trees. Alright, so that's probably enough now. I can feel the uh, tapeworm starting to complain. So it's time to head back for breakfast and um, move on to our next location. So once again, if you have uh, like what you see, like where we've been, like what we've showed you, give us that thumbs up and uh, give us a like, which we'd highly appreciate. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that uh, you'll be told when we upload our next video. So from Baradale Rest Area and the Yanari Creek, I think it's called. Um, we'll see you next time.